What up, folks? TBS here. Actually, found some cool figures today at Target. We found the Dexter Dexter Morgan from the Showtime show. Dexter, obviously, and uh, we found the Dexter Morgan Dark Defender and Dexter Morgan Dark Passenger. Pretty cool stuff, man. I'm I'm, I'm going to be honest because I've never watched Dexter ever before. I think I've had some friends and family that were big fans, but I, I did some research and watched a couple videos tonight. And I was like, wow, this is actually a pretty cool character. And I kind of knew a little bit about him. He's kind of like a, maybe a Robin Hood-esque type character, maybe, or, or whatever figure. That's like, uh, he only murders m people that kill. And that are going to kill again and again and again. It's like, he kills killers. But it's like the stuff of Nightmares and uh, Cannibal Corpse type lyrics. Or death metal type lyrics, you know. Or def death metal type uh, subjects or whatever. Um, it's pretty gnarly. And, um... They actually had some cool guests on the show. I think they had Most Def on there and John Lithgow and uh, Jimmy Smits, who's, you know, as Bell Organa, as you know. But anyways, um, yeah, pretty interesting. Found these at Target because, you know, these are obviously Biff Bang Pow, which we, you know, they, they gave us uh, Kiss figures and stuff like that. And uh, was it, um, which I still haven't finished collecting his um, Big Bang Theory figures and stuff. But anyways, I saw these and I was like, man, because I was going to look for that uh, new uh, uh, Revelations Faker. Didn't find it, or looking for some new NECA stuff, didn't find it, but I found uh, some Dexter, so I was like, all right, cool, but um, a note to you uh, Min on Card collectors, the bubble is real weak around here, the glue, so I was actually walking around with one, and the figure came loose in the bubble, so I, I gave it back to, I found a, I guess a partner at Target that was, um, I guess doing like some shopping or whatever, like curbside shopping as you'd say or whatever, so to speak. And I was like, hey, man, this just flew off the bubble. Thought I'd hand it to you. So I, this isn't even necessary for the review, but just, just being, being a good Samaritan, man, because I don't want some scumbag to, or little kid or a scummy little kid to steal this figure or whatever off the bubble, you know, in the store, because that does happen. But anyways, that has nothing to do with this review, but whatever is what it is. And I was like, man, these are kind of cool. And they're only about like 12 bucks, eleven ninety nine. dollars much cheaper than uh, good old love him or hate him, love him but also hate him. Super Seven, a lot cheaper uh, than than because I really I, I wanted to get another uh, foot soldier or two or whatever for my um, Ninja Turtle, you know, reaction figures. But man, they're they're seventeen ninety nine compared to eleven dollars ninety nine cents, and you also get like soft goods and stuff with this, so it's kind of cool. But um, I guess the dark uh, dark defender. I guess this uh character refers to like i think he's solving a murder or helps solving a murder because i think what his deal uh, is he um he i guess uh studies or whatever blood splatters that happen at crime scenes and and solves helps solves murders that way and stuff like that and uh, which is pretty gnarly and once again like right, like much like cannibal corpse death metal type stuff or whatever pretty grim but um anyways i guess what's the dark defender he i guess he was like trying to solve a murder at like a comic shop or something like that somebody got killed and the guy came up with the the dark defender i guess the guy that worked in the comic shop that got murdered came up with the dark defender which is kind of a, a batman-esque uh because i guess what was it oh man i'm starting to lose track of stuff but anyways there's a lot to it because he's um dexter at one point i guess they consider him like this the base something murderer or something ah oh, i gotta i gotta do my research again but anyways thought i had it but, uh, yeah, so people in his universe or whatever, actually, you know, this guy that works at a comic shop uh, comes up with it. Because people think, you know, there's like some murder on the loose, but it's actually Dexter, a good guy that's not a good guy killing people. So this guy that works at a comic shop, he comes up with the Dark Defender. And um, and basically, yeah, that's what uh, this is. Is like this version, I guess, would be the Dark Defender version of uh, Dexter. And yeah, there's also, if you look in the back, there's Dark Passenger, Dark Defender, and there's an SDCC or SDCC exclusive that comes with like, it looks like um, maybe a body part that goes in a bag or something. And then this one, yeah, come, I don't know, something. It's hard to tell, but they didn't have those at Target, obviously. They just had these two. So yeah, I'm not exactly the boy next door. That's obvious, obvious. And here is the Dark Passenger. The Dark Passenger, I, th I guess, refers to the voice inside his head that tells him to kill. <laughs> and uh, I like this guy because he comes with a cool apron. So when he's, like, doing his killing, he, he doesn't get blood all over his clothes. And um, 
a lot of saran wrap, a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of plastic bags. <laughs> Ugh, that's gnarly, man. Really gnarly stuff, but kind of cool. And, um, by trade, I am a meat cutter. So by career and trade. So I deal with a lot of blood, a lot of gruesome blood. Cause it's weird. It's funny how people eat meat, but yet they get grossed out by blood. And I'm like, well, you're eating something that once lived and it's dead now. And yeah, it, it's gonna bleed, so it's weird, man. People, people in their uh, need for red meat, but also get freaked out by blood. It's kind of stupid, but oh well. People are stupid <laughs> and weak. But anyways, but uh, that goes with that saying. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and check these figures out, and I'll shut up. And here they are, folks. Not bad little figures, man. It kind of bums me out that um, because he's gonna need stuff to kill with, and um. Once again, you know, these figures are only eleven ninety nine, so like they're not gonna be like you know, they're not like they're not gonna be like hot toys or nothing like that. But you got some okay some kind of iffy articulation on these. Nothing too spectacular. But the soft goods are cool. You can tie his little apron right there and take it off. Got some back and forth in the legs, got some knee joints. So, you know, competing with good old Super 7, it's like, uh, not too bad with the paint apps and stuff, and, um, the hair and stuff like that. Likeness. It's not, it, it's, for what it is, if you're getting like a, you know, I don't know, people, people get weird, because with figures like these, if you want to refer back to old Star Wars stuff, or, you know, stuff like that, I'll always go back to, you know, those figures aren't that great, you know, like, okay, just because, uh, Rest in peace, uh, Joe Volcano. But yeah, uh, recently he passed away. But anyways, because I had to pull this out for his tribute. But yeah, if you look, look. Because this is, this is what we're going for, you know. They're not going to all... These 3.75 figures or you know, whatever. They're, back in the day, they're not that great. They're cool, you know. But I don't know. Just the thing is nowadays, it's like new collectors just suck. Because they're real picky think they know everything and and they just gotta just rail on everything and you know to me when you're collecting 3.75 stuff especially like this it's supposed to be cheesy it's supposed to be camp you know it's it's not supposed to be not everything's supposed to be a mezco 112 or a hot toy or this or that sometimes you want it to be a little crappy you know just just for just for craps and giggles but i don't know what this is he came with this maybe it's like a police badge or something came with you can put around his neck or something but it kind of bums me out that these guys didn't come with uh weapons so you have to go through your joes or maybe your super seven stuff to find some kind of um you know killing implement or whatever but yeah he's got a lightsaber so he can kill with lightsaber so that's good that actually works but um it's on hand you know but uh that's the only thing that kind of bums me out is like yeah they didn't they gave him like a little like kind of little accessory but they didn't give him um any weapons to kill anybody that, that, that kind of sucks and uh, they actually have uh holes for stands the star stands that i have don't work well with these guys but if i think if you heat up that the leg or the hole or whatever it'll work fine but yeah these guys are kind of iffy too as far as standing but that can all be solved by a uh, heating process and here's the dark defender version because he's this is the comic book guy version he's got a cloak just like the dark defender himself and our I guess like maybe like a cloak slash trench coat. And oh, this seems to have, actually I didn't notice this. Cause does this have it too? Yeah, they've got a little bit of ab crunch thing going. So that's pretty cool, man. I just noticed that. So that's another one up on Super 7. <laughs> that, uh, and it's funny too, he comes with like a trash bag full of probably body parts, which is kind of gnarly and kind of dank and really cool. And um, yeah, so there's Dexter again the shirt on and um i think i think if we take this off there might be like an in and out on the arms maybe not no there's no uh hinge or anything like that there's just a back and forth or around or whatever but it's kind of iffy so you probably want to heat it up but yeah he's got a little bit of ab thing going there so that's kind of cool it's not bad at all but yeah it, it is what it is with these figures i don't know i don't know why people want to get all nitpicky and complaining and gripey but it's like a eleven dollar 99 cent figure so don't get don't get too up in arms but it just seems like that's how people are these days with stuff they just don't want to enjoy something for what it is and they just want to 
find every way to not like it, <laughs> not enjoy something, which is weird to me. But, you know, it is what it is. Teach their own, man. Teach their own. Teach their own. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, man. So, yeah, there's Dark Defender. Like I said, these are pretty cool. I like them. I think you could do some fun stuff. I know some friends on Instagram would probably do some killer things with these figures, um, especially pictures and stuff like that. But um, it'd be fun because you could have them like a... Uh, you have him uh, basically go kill Skeletor. Uh-oh, watch out, Skeletor. <laughs> you know, or any of your bad guys or whatever. It'd be kind of cool, you know. And um, But once again, you're going to have to go and find, um, you know, some G.I. Joe knives or something for him to use or, you know, whatever. I, th I think that would probably be your best bet because it doesn't come with any killing accessories. It's the only thing that kind of bums me out. But other than that, I like these. They're cool. And um, I, I want to see... And these are series two. I guess they had a series one, which would have been 2009, I believe. If you look them up on eBay, there's a 2009 Big Bang Pals, uh, Dexter figures. But they came in a different card, not this vintage style bubble. It was like the bubble was kind of bigger and in, in just they covered the whole, most of the card. Anyways, I'm done. This review's done. I like these. I think they're cool. I got a glimpse on a, at the Dexter show tonight and it's actually pretty neat and actually really cool and there's a lot to it and uh, it's pretty gnarly pretty pretty gnarly anyways thanks for watching y'all and more reviews and stuff coming up definitely on the way soon all right later